Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something exciting to share with you all. We recently stumbled upon a productivity tool called 7 to Do's, and we shouldn't wait to explore it further. In this video, we'll be diving deep into its features and benefits, so you can decide if it's the right productivity app for you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more cool tech reviews. All right, let's get started. So guys, here it's seven to do's, the task board created for makers. All right guys, so here it's seven to do's. You can get things done from here, the task board created for makers. So uh, they're claiming this is the only task management board that is not overwhelming and still powerful. So we can create account with the upper right uh, create account button or we can click on be in control or we can just check out the application. So here is the tasks for today and i'm sure you can relate to this okay there are some things that are here and a, a little review here then you want a dark theme so let's see how the dark theme is well the dark theme looks pretty good i can see the stars and in white theme we don't have any stars or oh, the sun okay we have them but it doesn't look so great as dark theme so we are shifting to dark theme and then we have the playground seven to do's is made for you if you work on multiple projects, break your tasks down, want daily reminders, hate Jira, love analytics, and like a browser extension. Okay, so here we go. Just uh, just to name a few, check out the upcoming features. So we are going to check out the upcoming features. But uh, now you can connect to your seven to do's with Notion. You can connect it to Slack, Discord, Google Calendar, and there are lots more. So let's go ahead and check out the pricing. We have one plan for all. I mean, they have one plan for all your needs. So they have $34.90 $34 per year, like a cup cup of coffee for a month. So yeah, that's, that is the budget of a coffee. So like a cup of coffee for a month. And then we have a start your journey today. So we are gonna check out lifetime deal running for 72 dues. Let's go seven to deuce lifetime deal. Okay, we have it on App Sumo. We have it on uh, seven to deuce uh, Idealify. We have it on Deal Mirror and LTD Hunt. They just redirect it to another site. Okay, okay, yeah, that's all. So in App Sumo, we have seven to deuce, which is going to cost us ninety nineteen ninety nine, almost twenty. All right then. It's best for developers, project managers, solopreneurs, and it's alternative to Asana, Monday.com, and Trello. So here is the entire overview, and here is the workspace, and we can share our space, view, and the task beyond you need to work on multiple projects, okay? Then we have plans and features. You can deal the deal terms and conditions, lifetime access to 72 dues plan, you must redeem your codes within 60 days of purchase and all future 72 dues plan updates. Then this deal is stackable. I don't know how this deal is stackable because there is only one code. Okay, okay, there is this tax. One code, activate plan, beyond plan with 20 workspaces. So if you want to increase your workspaces, then you can stack up codes. So you can stack up to four codes. Two codes give access to habit tracker, attachments up to 100 megabyte per space, or up to one GB all space combined. And then we have calendar view, automatic daily backups, backups for your tasks, export your tasks as a CSV file. And the best part is we are getting 60 days money back guarantee. So in two months, if you don't like the software, you can just return it and get a refund. Then we also have it on Dealify, which is offering us at $20. And the same features are here, made for you. All right, is the code stackable here? Uh, the code should be stackable here. All right, so redeem seven workspace, seven workspaces. All features, seven workspaces, email notifications, analytics, shared workspaces, API access, and 30 days the money credit back guarantee. So uh, this one is providing us 30 days guarantee which is uh, if we don't like the application within 30 days, we can get refund. So here it is, what if I'm not 100% satisfied? As you can see, you're, if you're not 100% satisfied, um, you, they offer hassle-free 30-day credit back guarantee. 
just drop them a message and they will make sure to process the refund as soon as possible all right moving on and here is the stackable codes as you can see i see this is also offered in other marketplaces with this deal okay so um this is the same buying here uh, yes it is the same best gobby well if it's the same they should have mentioned well daily five forgot to mention that thing i guess that's a bummer and then we also have deal mirror let's see what deal mirror is offering well if it's offering 17.59 dollars per prime users that's pretty pretty dope okay so we're scrolling down and see what else can we find in deal mirror so highlights 72 made for you and we can connect and automate to a lot of things then for the regular member they have 30 day money back guarantee and for prime members they have 60 days money back guarantee which is pretty cool because the prime members are also getting uh, a little discount here as you can see they have 17.59 dollars so the prime user is also getting a one dollar 40 cent discount and 60 day money back guarantee so prime prime users you're gonna have some good deals in deal mirror and we have frequently asked questions how to redeem a code yeah redeem instructions are given for more details join facebook web okay that's all there is no mention about stacking codes but i'm pretty sure that codes codes are stackable because um, in both of these marketplaces the codes are stackable so it will be the same here so don't worry guys you can just buy codes and stack them all right now let's get started and log in i mean create an account signing up well that's pretty cool that we are getting one click sign up but we can't sign up with our okay we can sign up with our email but i would choose the easy way in and sign up with google all right now we're going to select our google account well it uh it delayed a little bit but it completed so we're going to give it a little time new morphism design or material design dark or light let's see we want the new form new morphism design or material design well since the material design is the updated model we are going to go with material design and the dark one looks pretty cool but uh, not always so we're going to close dark one for here because while working darker mode is uh, dark mode is for relaxing not for working in my opinion so i'm just closing that dark mode and showing you guys in the light mode now continue cmd open spotlight on desktop with cmd k okay time zone we're gonna have to select time zone okay let's go ahead and select our time zone yeah we are not gonna follow them on twitter continue your seven days a trial starts now so i'm i have got seven days trial and it starts now okay and open seven uh, seven to reduce so first of all we have workspaces here and we're going to explore the entire application at a glance so we can share a review we can toggle the theme from right here well it's pretty pretty slow and sluggish and then we have show graveyard let's see what show graveyard does all a place for all your unfinished tasks so no unfinished tasks here now let's go back to spaces and let's see what pro tips they have for us seven to do's for pros spotlight tip and a lot more okay so on the top we have daily view or we can change it to all view so this is the all tasks for today and if we want to view all of our tasks we will click on it and here we can view all of our tasks we have lots of view modes board view table view and timeline view it's here we can also go for calendar view or uh, document view and here is habit view so there are uh, analytics view too so as you can see guys there are lots of view types you can choose the one that is viewable best for you and then we have the board view so now we are going to stick to board view and welcome here it's a quick onboarding so these are to do tasks and we can delete we can turn on focus mode let's see focus 15 minute pause for five minute private this time will be added to private will come here go so we have focus timer ambient sound you can combine them and we can start focus mode so uh, 
I'm, I'm guessing if I turn on focus mode, then I'm going to be locked out of all these features. So I'm not turning on the focus mode and select task for today. So we can select it for today. This task will be done today. And I've selected that. We can pin task on top. Then we have due date. Now the task's due date will be on. So today is 31 July. Task's due date will be August 2. All right, so we have more uh, open workspace and open workspace. So we have two workspaces separate and let's go explore the workspaces that are separate. So this workspace has three tasks. If you couldn't finish, I'm gonna undo it because I couldn't read. If you couldn't finish a task in seven days, it will land in the graveyard. So that's pretty cool. If uh, I'm unable to do a task in seven days, then it will be landed in the graveyard, like the task is dead or something. Then we can click on the workspace label, private or work. You can conquer the universe, okay. Now what we are gonna do is create a new workspace, private work, okay, plus two spaces. Now we have three workspaces. Now let's see if we can change the icon of the workspace. So the workspace icon is changeable. I'm gonna select the image, save it. So let's open the workspace again. And as you can see, our workspace now have a beautiful logo on it. Now we are just gonna have to rename the workspace. This one will be, well, I, can, I can't rename the workspace. Let's figure it out. Here we go. I have to zoom in. Faster typing is not working. Well, it's a little glitchy when I was typing past. It's not working, as you can see. Let me type fast. See? I'm typing app on box, but it's not working. They should fix this bug very soon because people would not want to type down slow in these kind of software. And now we have the color. We're going to choose darker green color. And then we have backlog to do. Uh, we don't want backlog. We just want to do progress and assign completed state and done. Okay, now we're not going to hide workspace. We're going to hide this one. But not hide this one, this one will be on top. So let's get back from spaces. And here we go, we have three workspaces now. Mm, I should have hidden this workspace too, but let us sit there. And we're gonna add task. Find keywords for the article. First, our task will be to find keywords for article. And after we have found the keywords, write article according to keywords well fast typing is working here so uh, so that's okay because fast typing is working here well uh, while typing down the name we have to write down slowly and that is the problem here but in case of other things that we don't need to type down slowly we can type down fast so to do is done then we have progress here uh, so to do we're gonna click progress and then back so this one is in progress. And after the writing is done, we are going to publish the articles. We're also gonna add this task. Status, progress. And then back. Now what we're gonna do is add another task. So after the publish is done, well, publish the article. Well, after the publish is done, we are gonna be, um, we're gonna set it in progress. So the publishing will be in progress. Then after the publishing is in progress, we are gonna done the task and the task will automatically be moved. As you can see, it's the, the task has been automatically moved to the done section. Okay, so we are gonna check out the other views but first we're gonna hide this pub private workspace so let's go ahead and hide the private workspace public link share okay opening workspace and open workspace settings uh, here we go and we are gonna hide the workspace so now our workspace looks beautiful the only one workspace that I'm working with is here and we can change our views like we have table view 
this is board view we have table view we can go to timeline view all right the timeline view is all same but we can change it as you can see uh, write articles according to keyword so the writing article would be on date 10 and for date 7 and 8 we are gonna find keywords then we are gonna write keyword articles on day 10 and then publishing um, we need to copy this one okay let's see if we can copy it yeah this one can be expanded so let's see if we can copy this task board view going here and then workspace all right create copy duplicate here we go we have duplicated one and then we're gonna drag it after writing article after writing article in two days we are going to start publishing and the publishing will go for three days as you can see it's pretty amazing you can drag drop and then we have calendar view in calendar view we will be able to see those article i mean the tasks or where which task will be done so as you can see this task will be running from day 12 to day 14 because i have dragged it from day 12 to day 14 in timeline view then we have document view due in 15 days. So this is the document view, right? So marked down. Well, right, the document view is quite boring. Then we have the habit view. All habit combined in one view. And then we have the analytics view. So uh, private, zero finished tasks, app and box, task. All right, so zero finished task. No task is here. Uh, they're showing zero finished task but now guys on the analytics view it should be done that one task is finished because I have finished a task now I don't know why that task is not showing as finished because this task is finished I don't know why this task is showing there is showing zero tasks finished because in board view uh, or in any other view we are seeing that one task is done and done means it's done guys so no there's no doubt that this task is not done but they're showing that uh, there is no task no finished task but i have finished a task uh, but they're showing zero finished tasks they should be showing one finished task now there is another bug found so we're going to open spotlight ai personal assistant wow so we have ai personal assistant what which task should i focus on today let's see so i should ask him all right let's see superpowers add uh, your open ai key okay so superpowers write the name uh, select a space and enter to save all right i don't want this i'm gonna go to spotlight again and then view calendar view app and box so here we go we are viewing app and box and in to do we have uh, find different articles in progress we have write the articles according to keywords which is 11 days and then we have published the articles in the website which is due to 15 days and already our our first publishing is done and then there will be second publishing but there is only one problem which is that in analytics view we are unable to see that our task is finished so here we go we are in the app overview again and here analytic view and zero finished apps and in habit view i do not understand what it seems like you have no habit habits credit if you want to track your habits with seven to do's you have to convert a task or a to a habit open a task and clicking on create habit button inside the model so um, we can just convert a task to our habit and then it will be shown here now let's go ahead and try it so find keyword articles Task depends on, okay, workspace, app and box. Task depends on, nothing. Find keywords. Stages, estimated time, colors. How about if I have it? So tag is habit. Oh, recurring task, we have create a habit. So now this task will be habit. So uh, this task will be done regularly, I guess. Now let's check out. So let's go to habit view. I refresh the page. I think there might be some problem refreshing because I just created the task. Right. It's showing that we logged out of the account. All habits combined in one. No, that's not working. All right. So let's try and fix the habit as done. Well, it's done. Mm, so we can recur it. Okay. So let's say we are going to search keywords in every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. 
Now let's get back. Again, recurring keywords. We're just gonna close it. Do tomorrow. All right. Done. Now let's go to our analytics view. I mean, not analytics view. We're gonna go to habits view. And still nothing so analytics view and habit view is in beta stage and they might not work properly but all the other things are working out pretty well and you can add more space more tasks and uh, let's see if we can add team members to it now task depends on so if we if we select the task depend on another task then it will be a subtask and this task cannot be assigned to some other people so this task is only assigned to me and no one else can be added to our workspace yep that's it no one else can be added to our workspace so let's go to our profile yeah unlock ai feature all right manage subscriptions no needed all right so there is no one that i can uh, add to my tasks like i can't uh, manage these tasks and teams so if you're a solopreneur you want to use this uh, to manage your tasks alone then this is a great tool all right that's it for today folks if you enjoyed this review and want to see more tech related content don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel also let us know in the comments if you already use seven to do's or plan to give it a try Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Stay productive.